Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode we started the process of revoking the county of Ulster from our Duke of Moray so that we can get it back under its rightful duke in the Duchy of Ulster. So we have defeated his army in a couple of battles and we are settling down to siege his capital and the county itself, so this shouldn't take too much longer. We're already at 43%. We're also still in some of the wars on behalf of our ally in Sicily. We're uh, not really helping him out in any of them. We did help him in the Holy War over the Duchy of Tripolitania down here, which he should be winning, though now that I look at this, the Sultan is successfully sieging one of the counties in there. If he completes that siege, Sicily will immediately lose 30% war score, which will be bad, but I think it might tick up to 100 before he can finish siege there. We'll see, I suppose. His other war is with the Holy Roman Empire over the county of Modena, which he is probably going to lose, but we couldn't probably have helped him to win that in any reasonable way. Oh, well, looks like I was wrong, and he has actually completed the siege down there. So, bad news for our ally. I guess we could go and help him. We just have to get down here, defeat this army, and retake that siege. But I definitely don't want to do that before we end our own little piece of business up here. The Earl of Buchan is trying to usurp my title. Well, he's going to be back inside of our realm very soon now, so we don't care about this. And Moray actually has enough troops left to siege us here. But it shouldn't matter, I don't think. We're doing two sieges to his one, and it looks like this is now at 100%. So what happened here? Ah, somebody very important was captured, it seems. Probably his heir. Yep. Okay. Well, that'll do. Well done, Sicily. They kept their African duchy. They're still going to lose the county to the Kaiser, but that's okay. It's just one county. Uh, our Chancellor is doing nothing right now. We did just point our kinsman here, so we should have him take care of something. I guess we'll have him work on our new Duke of East Anglia, who's pretty unhappy. And our court chaplain was previously trying to convert the heretic Waldensian county up here, but that's temporarily not part of our realm, so we'll just wait until this is over and then put him back doing that. We've discovered a plot where our son Ewan seeks to kill us. Well, I guess this isn't too surprising since we did make him ambitious and also our rival. So... No, he won't just agree to stop. I guess this is the reason why you shouldn't just blithely make your ambitious children your rivals, as I have been doing. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Hmm. We could imprison him, but I don't think that... Oh, he, we can't actually imprison him because he's not even in our court. Because he's... Matrilineal mar matrilineally married to the Princess of Sicily. Um, okay, well, I guess we can do pretty much nothing here, then. Except maybe go into hiding if we wanted. Uh, let's just check on what kind of plot power he has there, actually. Only 30%, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. So the King of Sicily, France and Brittany, says he's having some trouble with some of our petty nobles visiting in Napoli. His behavior is being unacceptable. His behavior being unacceptable would be quite an understatement, and I'll have to take action soon. So we can take responsibility, lose 100 prestige, let's not make it worse, or say false accusations, and probably annoy the king here. 
I think I'm going to gain the prestige because I would like to, if possible, get up to 8,000 to be able to form a custom empire title. So losing 100 is not what I want there. So we'll see if there's any consequences of that. Alright, we siege Morai's capital. I think we'll just head next door and fight his army again before he completes a siege there. Yes, we can go into hiding if we want to. No, I think I actually am going to go into hiding, not because I'm scared of the plot, but just because I've never actually gone into hiding as a character before, I don't think. I want to see what happens. Um, is this decision even here? I guess it's actually not. It's a special character action, I see. Well, I said I'd never done it before, so... That's why I don't know how to. Alright, let's go into hiding for a little while and see what happens. We get our... Air Duncan as our regent. Somebody died of pneumonia, okay. Right, well, we go straight over our domain limit because we're no longer actually ru ruling. Our prisoner has finished her education, that's fine. And our daughter needs a childhood focus. We'll just go for etiquette. Alright, we've sieged the top holding in our target county over here. We've also destroyed his army, so he shouldn't be really any threat anymore. He does have some troops still, but he can't actually siege anything. And the war over Modena down here is still dragging on, but it's at 96% in favor of the Holy Roman Empire, so it should be over pretty soon. Other siege gets us to 81%. And there's 100% for the Kaiser. So Sicily lost. Uh, my mission to Norfolk has so far been a success. He has successfully improved the opinion with the Duke of East Anglia. Okay. And our son John, who also is ambitious and our bitter rival, has finished his education in the ways of intrigue, so... This, again, could be a mistake, but we'll see what happens. I suppose, overall, there isn't too much danger to the realm if we're, ex if we're assassinated, because we have Tanistry, it can't pass out of our dynasty anyway. So we'll see who we can get our son... Married to maybe a princess of the Byzantine Empire would be fun. We'll get a pact with them. So if we don't get any special in hiding related events. In the near future, I'll probably just come out of hiding. Another siege gets us to 100%. So we can enforce our demands. Gain the title of the County of Ulster. I'm just going to grant it, I think, to the Duke. Uh, actually, we'll probably grant it to... Now we'll just give it to the Duke for the sake of simplicity. It doesn't matter that much. Any lower titles we happen to have, the Council agrees. I think... They would have to agree to this since he's the de jure liege. Maybe. Well, we have three loyalists, so it doesn't really matter. We can pretty much pass anything we want, which, incidentally... 
we might try to do... We can pass laws right now. I guess we are still gonna have to wait a while. Because we have a regency. Okay. In that case, we'll come out of hiding. So we can pretty much pass any law that we want, it looks like. Um, it looks like at the as it stands, there's going to be a tie because we'll have three supporting three against. This doesn't show our vote, so it would be three supporters. At least I think it doesn't show our vote. So we need to use our advisor title. And I think if we give it to our... Oh, he's the Chancellor, of course. I was going to say we give it to our heir. He's likely to be a loyalist. Well, we definitely don't want to give it to our son, since he's probably not going to be a loyalist. I guess we'll give it to the Duke of Ulster, because he's pretty powerful. He thinks, he thinks he's a powerful vassal, and he should be happy with us, because we granted him a county. He'll lose the minus 40. Uh, where is... Just an honorary title. I thought it was... A separate character action? Point commander is possible. Wait a second. It's a point counselor. I thought that would what I was looking for. You just have a point commander. This is not available for him? Oh, it's here. I'm just blind. Okay. Advisor to Duke Donald. This will change his opinion view by 10. In fact, by far more than that because he lost the minus 40. And let's see if we can now get laws through. No, it looks like he is voting against us, at least on this. I think I'd prefer to have title revocation. I don't care too much about imprisonment or execution. Well, let's see. Uh, Donald of Ulster, he's a pragmatist. Hmm, okay. Well, that's fine. I guess we'll just leave things as they are for the moment, then. And our Duke of Moray wants to put our kinsman on the throne. How unhappy is Moray with us since we revoked that title? He's real unhappy. Okay. Also, he wants a seat on the council. Well, I think I will actually give him a seat. I'll appoint him instead of our heir here. Since that's the job he had before. And that also reminds me that I want to have my court chaplain try to convert our heretic county up here. Meanwhile, we'll have our Chancellor improve diplomatic relations with the Duke of East Anglia. Our son needs an education focus. He is brooding, willful, and rowdy. So, stewardship could be okay. Marshall would be very good, though. I think we'll go with Marshall. Okay. So, we're short a commander. Um, I think I'm going to appoint Ulster. Just in case that changes his... His attitude on the council to be a loyalist, though I doubt it. In fact, we're down to only one loyalist, so maybe we lost any chance that we had of getting laws through easily. Alright, so still a few years in our truce with England, so if we want to declare another offensive war, which we do, 
Uh, we should probably do it down here. And in fact, there's a big revolt going on against the Adavid Sultanate as it stands. So we could quite easily take the last county in this duchy that we didn't get last time from them. But unfortunately, we can't really declare a fruitful, or at least a convenient war against the Adavids because we won't get a full duchy from them basically anywhere here, I think. We could take this duchy from the Abadids down here, assuming we are close enough to declare that. Council would approve. Alright, well, we'll at least declare, I think, for this county. And then, maybe after the war is over, we'll, or the revolt is over, we'll declare the holy war for this duchy. And hopefully get the whole thing. Question is if we want to declare this simultaneously with one for this county, and I think we probably will. How hard could it be? So we won't be fighting them directly, but they have 6k. The Revolt has 5k. The Abadids have 9k. And nearby Sunni rulers could join as well. So they might be a bit stronger than we'd like to deal with. How many have we got? About 18. I think we should be okay, actually. Alright, we'll declare both. I'm taking the Holy War for Portugal for this one remaining county here. The council just about approves it. We could do a de jure claim here instead, actually. Which the council likes better and also would make sure that our duke is happier. And also would remove the possibility of... Uh, Sunni rulers joining this war since it's not a holy war. I guess we'll do that. Also, I kind of forgot that we also get the Kingdom of Sicily and the Holy Roman Empire on our side, which makes this a bit trivial. Probably. We'll declare this one, and this one will be a holy war. Oh, I guess it won't be, because the council does not approve. Well, we can do it, but... It'll be viewed as an act of tyranny, so I assume that means an opinion penalty with all of our vassals, which I probably don't want to do. Yeah, minus 10, it says. Also, it will make the council discontent and allow them to enter factions, so probably a bad move there. Let's not do that. Glory hands are against it because there's no glory. This guy is returning a favor to the Duke of Ulster. Who is against this because he's a pragmatist and we're already busy fighting another war, but we have the Holy Roman Empire on our side. How hard could it be? I guess he won't be convinced. Anyway, we'll we'll just fight and win this war pretty quickly then. By itself. And I doubt we'll even need the entirety of our available levy, so we'll just disband some of the more outlying ones. In fact, we could pro quite probably uh, sit at home and allow Sicily and the Holy Roman Empire to fight it for us. But where would be the fun in that? Alright, so... Enough boats? I think so. We can go into hiding if we want to, but I think we'll decline to do that. Let's actually auto-stop plots, just in case we are some, at some point able to convince our son to stop plotting against us. He actually has some support for this now, including from our other son, Prince John. But still only at 61%, so I don't think we need to worry about it. So 
So Sicily is arriving in force. As are we. So we'll go fight the revolt army, I think. What is the status of the revolts? 13%, so not much movement either way. So we'll destroy their army, or at least fight it, then we'll head up here and siege our target county. Ooh, the Mongols. Word has reached us that an ambitious Khan from beyond the Great Mountains has set out to unite the clans of the Great Steppe. It is also said by men who read the stars that this Khan is destined to become the ruler of the world. What could those equestrians hope to accomplish? Well, we might be surprised at how much they accomplish, but I don't think it'll affect us too much all the way over the western part of the world here. But we'll see what happens, I suppose. But we'll have to wait until the next episode to see and to see what happens in this battle, because we're just about out of time, so thanks for watching. And join me again then!